I came into the world under the sign of Saturn, the star of the slowest revolution, the planet of detours and delays, Walter Benjamin. Hello, dear friends. Today, we would like to tell you about the Lord of the Rings of the Solar System, Saturn. If you haven't seen our other videos about the planets of the Solar System, you can find them in the top right corner. In this video, you will learn about Saturn's key characteristics, its history and some fascinating facts. Get comfortable and let's begin. Saturn is the second largest planet in the Solar System, second only to Jupiter, and it orbits the Sun on the sixth orbit. Saturn is one of the most beautiful and enigmatic planets. Its appearance is astonishing and captivating. The mythical rings create a sense of uniqueness, making it unmistakable from any other planet. It is truly one of a kind. Like the other planets, Saturn formed from the solar nebula about 4.6 billion years ago. This solar nebula was a vast cloud of cold gas and dust, possibly colliding with another cloud or a supernova shockwave. This event initiated the compression of the protosolar nebula, eventually leading to the formation of the solar system. At some point in Saturn's early history, one of its moons, approximately 300 kilometers in diameter, was torn apart by its gravity, creating the rings that continue to orbit the planet today. In fact, the planet's fundamental parameters depended directly on its place of formation and the amount of gas it managed to capture. Saturn is the most distant of the planets visible to the naked eye from Earth. Ancient Greeks were the first to notice it, referring to it as a wandering star due to its peculiar trajectory. The ancient Romans named the planet after the god of agriculture and the father of Jupiter. Saturn corresponds to the powerful Greek god Cronos. The first person to observe the planet was Galileo Galilei in 1610. Initially, Galileo did not understand what he was seeing and thought that the rings were large satellites on either side of the planet. However, after two years of calculations, he couldn't prove this hypothesis. It was not until 1659 that Christian Huygens used a better telescope and managed to confirm the presence of the rings. Huygens was also the first to discover Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Saturn is classified as a gas giant. Its radius is approximately 9.5 times that of Earth, and its mass is nearly 95 times greater. To better grasp Saturn's size, imagine that 764 Earths could fit inside it. Interestingly, the planet's density is only 70% that of water, meaning that if we were to place Saturn in a large water basin, it would float on the surface like a rubber ball. The planet completes a full orbit around the Sun in just under 30 years, but its day lasts only 10.5 hours. Due to its rapid rotation and low density, the planet is flattened at the pole. Consequently, the polar radius is only 90% of the equatorial radius. Like the other gas giants, Saturn's atmosphere is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of other substances such as water and methane. In visible light, the planet's appearance is calmer than Jupiter's. It has bands of clouds in its atmosphere, but they are pale orange and faintly visible. The orange color is due to sulfur compounds in its atmosphere. In addition to sulfur, there are small amounts of nitrogen and oxygen in the upper layers of the atmosphere. These atoms react with each other and under the influence of sunlight, they form complex molecules that resemble smog. The planet's atmosphere generates some of the fastest winds in the solar system. NASA's Voyager spacecraft, which flew by Saturn, measured wind speeds of around 1,800 kilometers per hour at the planet's equator. Large white storms form within the bands that encircle the planet, but unlike Jupiter, these storms only last for a few months and are eventually absorbed by the atmosphere. One of the most remarkable features of the planet is the hexagonal storm at its North Pole. Hexagonal clouds on Saturn were first discovered by Voyager 1 and 2 after their visits to the planet more than three decades ago. The vortex has a diameter of approximately 25,000 kilometers, which can accommodate four Earth. However, scientists cannot yet explain how such a precisely geometric storm could have formed. One expert and member of the Cassini spacecraft team stated, We've never seen anything like this on other planets. The planet's internal structure is very similar to that of Jupiter. Scientists believe that there is a large silicate metallic core at the planet's center. 
At a depth of about 30,000 kilometers, the temperature reaches 10,000 degrees Celsius and the pressure is about 3 million atmosphere. In the core itself, both the pressure and temperature are even higher. It is in this core that the heat source that warms the entire planet is located. In fact, Saturn emits more heat than it receives from the Sun. The core is surrounded by metallic hydrogen and above that, closer to the surface, is a layer of liquid molecular hydrogen that transitions into its gaseous phase, merging with the atmosphere. Saturn's magnetic field has a unique characteristic. It aligns with the planet's axis of rotation. Saturn's magnetosphere has a symmetrical appearance, but the radiation poles are well-defined and possess voids. One of Saturn's distinctive features is its ring system. The rings themselves primarily consist of billions of tiny ice particles, as well as dust and other space debris. This composition explains why the rings are visible from Earth through telescopes. Ice reflects sunlight very effectively. There are seven broad classifications of the rings. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Each ring is named in alphabetical order of their discovery frequency. The most prominent rings visible from Earth are A, B, and C. In reality, each ring consists of thousands of smaller rings densely packed together. However, there are gaps between the main rings. For example, the gap between rings A and B is the widest, measuring 4,700 kilometers. The main rings start about 7,000 kilometers above the equator and extend for another 73,000 kilometers. Interestingly, the actual thickness of the rings does not exceed one kilometer. Like Earth, Saturn's axis of rotation is inclined relative to the plane of the Sun. At the halfway point of its orbit, Saturn's south pole faces the Sun, and then the north pole does. During Saturn's year, there are periods when the planet is visible from Earth from the side, and the plane of the giant's rings aligns with our line of sight, making them disappear from view. This led to a humorous incident in 1921, when a rumor spread that Saturn had lost its rings and particles from the rings were heading toward Earth. The anticipated event stirred people's minds to the point that calculations were published predicting when ring particles would fall to Earth. The rumor arose because the rings had simply turned edge onto Earth observers, and since they are very thin, they were impossible to see with the instruments of that time. People interpreted the disappearance of the rings literally, giving rise to the rumor. As of 2023, Saturn is known to have 146 natural satellites, 63 of which have their own name. Titan is the largest among them and the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. It's even larger than the planet Mercury. Titan is a unique celestial body, it is the only moon in the entire solar system with a dense atmosphere similar to Earth's and the only place, aside from Earth, where there is liquid on the surface. Due to the extreme cold on Titan's surface, there is no liquid water, but the temperatures are suitable for liquid methane and ethane. Furthermore, evidence of an ocean beneath the moon's surface has been found where conditions could be conducive to life. Another of Saturn's moons, Enceladus, is covered in clean, fresh ice making it one of the most reflective objects in the solar system. It is also the primary source of material that forms Saturn's E-ring. Material from Enceladus is ejected into space from geysers near the Moon's south pole. It consists mainly of water vapor, hydrogen molecules, other volatile substances, and solid materials such as sodium chloride crystals and ice particles. Moreover, beneath the ice, there is an ocean with salty water on the Moon's surface which could be suitable for the emergence of life. Mathematical studies suggest that the conditions in Enceladus' ocean may be similar to those found in the deepest and darkest parts of Earth's oceans, which are conducive to the development of microbes. If you'd like to learn more about Saturn's moons, please let us know in the comments. Saturn has not been the subject of space exploration as often as some other planets. The first spacecraft to visit Saturn was Pioneer 11, launched by NASA in 1973. It provided low-resolution images of Saturn and discovered the thin F-ring. In 1977, NASA launched two more missions, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which provided scientists with valuable data about Saturn, its moons and its rings, as well as thousands of high-resolution images. 
These twin spacecraft are still continuing their long journey, exploring interstellar space never before visited by human-made objects. The Cassini-Huygens Automated Interplanetary Mission, launched in 1997, was the fourth spacecraft to visit Saturn and the first to enter its orbit. The mission included NASA's Cassini spacecraft and the European Space Agency's Huygens probe, which became the first artificial object to land on Titan's surface in the outer solar system. Cassini was also the first mission to explore an extraterrestrial ocean, revealing the potential for life. The spacecraft completed 293 orbits around Saturn and the mission concluded in 2017. In 2027, another mission to Saturn is planned. NASA's Dragonfly mission will arrive at Titan in 2036 to explore this moon and its potential habitability. Due to its inhospitable nature, Saturn will never be a home for us, but Enceladus and Titan have the potential to be, but that's a completely different story. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more interesting videos about space and our universe. Please leave comments letting us know what you'd like to see in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.